Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. This video's topic is cartridge machining. So I'm referring to cartridge machining uh, in terms of machining a small item like you see on screen, but this could literally be cartridges. This could be, um, in this case, it's just a, a cover for a really small part. Anything where the part itself is much smaller than the actual stock you're going to use. This happens a lot in the indexable machining, uh, indexable tools industry, and uh, medical industries as well, where you have a really small part, it's in a regular shape, and it's just not the size of the stock. If you set it up like you normally would with Solicam, you see here where basically I have all this stock here. I would have to add sketches or um, or other ways to limit the travel of the tool so I don't machine the entire stock. Or I'd have to be really specific with my geometries, again, with sketching. Um, and that's not what you really want to do with this. You want to be able to just say, okay, I'm going to machine this 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 item here, this cartridge, out of this bar stock. But then there's the additional uh, option or the additional issue of, well, I need to hold this thing in place while I'm machining it. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to just machine this thing and then and then that's it. I need to do maybe a saw cut later, or it'll just break off and we'll grind it down. Something like that needs to be done after the fact. So how do you add that aspect of it inside the software? Well, this video, I'm going to show you how to just do, in terms of strategy, how to handle this sort of situation. And it's very simple. You're going to use the fact that you're inside of SolidWorks and you're going to model something up that you want the final part to look like. In this case, something like this. So I've I've drawn in something in addition to my stock that has the same diameter. So it, literally, this is what I want the part to look like after I'm done. I want to have the stock still sitting in the chuck, and then maybe some tabs or, or, or branches or something on, uh, on the part here to hold the thing in place. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm going to tell SolidCam that my stock is still the bar stock, but my target is actually both those solids. I want to machine something that looks like this. Because remember that when you're defining the target, you're telling it that this is what you want the part to look like after all the tool paths. The final part is going to be the cartridge, but that's after you've done everything to it and it's ready to be put into uh, the box or whatever you're going to do, this thing that you've produced. But while you're machining it, you can't have that little floating thing in space. You have to hold it in place. So you can machine the stock to add these tabs to work as its own holder, its own clamp. And that's basically what I've done here. Um, using 3D eye machining, which recognizes the stock and the target, and then just machines the excess material, I've basically done that. If we take a look at this toolpath here, it's actually machining the stock to become that combined solid. If we take a look at that inside Solid Verify, that's essentially what I've told it to do. I've told it to machine the stock to look like the part and the tabs. Even if I continue on the other side, basically the same thing. So I've literally designed my own clamps, but made them as part of the stock. This happens a lot in cartridges because obviously the cartridge itself is not the shape of the stock. You're trying to machine it down to this really tiny thing. So rather than going through and adding sketches and limiting the travel of the tool, if you're going to use a recognition toolpath, this is the best way to get this shape made out of the part. And now I don't ever have to worry about sketches or anything. I can continue to use a recognition toolpath. I could come in here and maybe use a profile or a pocket to finish it up. But generally, this is a good way to do cartridge machining inside SolidCam. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.